Well, there are more than two and a half million Americans living with a limb difference. And while there's a variety of prosthetic devices on the market, many people forego those options. They cite issues with the devices, uh, limited functionality, or maybe the high price tags. But now a former NFL player is teaming up with a tech startup that's using AI to change the game for accessibility. Jared Hill shares the inspiring story. Don't take it for granted. Former Seattle Seahawks linebacker Shaquem Griffin lost his left hand when he was just four years old. Growing up, he didn't have access to prosthetics. When you got a twin brother and then you a family of four, you need to be able to make sure you prioritize your cost efficiency. His father built homemade gadgets to help him train, and later his college and NFL teams provided expensive prosthetics, but with their functionality limited, Griffin didn't have use for them outside of the gym. So who's going to spend $80,000 to do a deadlift and stuff? And it, it doesn't help with groceries. It doesn't help with you uh, doing your day-to-day -day living. Enter SmartArm, a prosthetic with a built-in camera using AI to react to a wearer's movements. You just point the arm as you would naturally at an object as you go to pick it up. It's doing all these calculations about what the best grasp pattern would be. All you do is reach and grab, and the arm just inherently knows what to do. Toronto-based co-founders Hamal Chowdhury and Evan Neff say SmartArm is poised to disrupt the prosthetics industry. They want to improve on everyday living. Having SmartArm will adapt to me picking up groceries, opening up bottles. The small little things that's everyday living will be accessible now. We want the device to conform to what the user wants to do, and that's where the AI comes in. The AI basically comes pre-trained, and it knows what to do with a bunch of different objects. Kitchen accessories, mugs, cutleries, common food items like apples, bananas, very common objects that anyone uh, on a daily basis would be interacting with. The company has received financial and technical support from Microsoft and plans to make the arm available in Canada later this spring. It hopes to clear U.S. regulations within the next year. What we're building is, is one of the most intimate forms of technology that one could possibly think of. It's going to be worn by someone on a daily basis and enables a whole new level of autonomy in their day-to-day -day lives. So we really need to make sure that every little piece of, of hardware development, software development that we put into this arm is of the highest quality. And now I'm shopping. <laughs> I'm starting to understand certain muscle memories that I have that I choose to ignore, like me grabbing a drink or washing dishes or cleaning up my kids' bottles. I want stuff where it's just like my everyday living is just comfortable as if like I'm the same as anybody else. SmartArm is working with five individuals with limb differences, including Griffin, to test the product's design and function. Their feedback will help to improve the device. When somebody say, do you need a hand, SmartArm is actually doing it. We're going to lend you a hand and your everyday living will be better. It's opening the door for inclusiveness. So there's no reason to be left out of anything. Oh my goodness! Go ahead and take a picture of this. Jared Hill, CBS News. <laughs> this TechWatch segment has been brought to you by Microsoft Copilot. It's AI for all.